Welcome back to Half Past 719 Drunken Ram. So, my bearings didn't come in yesterday, last night. Um, I guess there's a possibility of a one day shipping or two day shipping, and of course, I got two day shipping. So, uh, I did go to O'Reilly and I did pick up uh, a U joint. Don't know if this is even a good, never heard of Precision. Um, I was looking for the Spicer. Spicer? I can't remember the name. Um, anyway, Worldwide Imports. Um, I'd like to see where it's made. Um, it's distributed. It's OE Fit. Oh, made in China. Made in the China, in the smallest, tiniest print. <clears throat> so I picked that up. That was eighty bucks. Um, the stupid lady was trying to sell me a drive shaft, a drive shaft one, and I told her I need an axle shaft, and she's like, "No, we don't carry those." And I was like, "Give me your computer." So I had to take over her computer and find it because she was retarded, and I know she only gets paid. $13 an hour, and her life sucks, and oh, wah, 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 because, wah, I guess, but you know what, it's her job, so get over it, people. I'm sick of writing rants about AutoZone and O'Reilly and Auto Parts Store and how they suck and how they don't want to do their job, and all you guys, not all you guys, but most of you guys, comment, well, oh, they're underpaid, and they're this and this. Shut up. Anyway, got my track bar. It's a move track bar. Um, I'm just gonna go with the OE style track bar because I do not. Oh, and it's sealed. How weird is that? Because I don't like polyurethane bushings. Ow. So, I hope this is the right one. It looks like the right one. Um, this was the part number I looked up, and then she looked it up, so, um, yeah, I'll be putting that on today. <clears throat> be putting that on this morning, um, <clears throat> while I'm waiting for gears, so, I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna do the U-joint on the axle, on the half shaft, and then, uh, so track bar, half shaft, <laughs> Um, and, uh, the rear gear oil, and I bought some of this gear oil here. <clears throat> I bought a whole tub of it. <clears throat> so, some full synthetic 7590 gear oil. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. Anyway, uh, yeah, I bought this because it's basically 20 quarts, I want to say. So, it's 18.9 liters, so it's almost 20 quarts. And it was 120 bucks. Whereas I'm gonna have to get, I think it was like 12 quarts to do the front and rear. Uh, and they were $14 a piece. So it ended up being like a hundred and something dollars for those. And they only had one. And another store only had two. And another store only had one. And they'd have to order the rest so instead of traveling all to the, throughout all the stores I just had her order that and the track bar so anyway uh, yeah let me set you guys up under the truck and uh, take that aftermarket track bar off I don't know why people use those I mean I do I get it adjustable stuff is good for lifted stuff but this trucks only lifted I don't know two and a half inches so track bar is not going to throw it off that far. And if it does, then then you re redesign the whole truck. So, sorry, I'm angry today. <clears throat> so let me get you guys under there. All right, guys. Got my little heater right there. I'll have to hang in the garage. <clears throat> Got a 21 millimeter socket and this head pack. Oh, let's get under here and make some noise. 
Bushing's not tight though. blown out. Oh, you can see that. That bushing's all blown out. That's got play on that end too on the high end. The high end. I don't know if this thing's ever been greased. I see grease. Doesn't mean it has been greased. Paperwork that it's a Carly track bar, but I find that hard to believe. Carly would make such a crap product, but you know, they probably got their bushings and their other stuff from China, so whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah, this hydrant joint is just flopping around. Anyway, this looks like something should be on Project Crack Pipe. So, I'm gonna get the new throat in there. the whole truck I have the whole truck leaning so that all the fluid over here will drain into the tube so I think that's the deal I don't know how I'm gonna get this to move but I can't at all Probably saying, do this. I can't hear you. Oh, steering. <laughs> All right, let me try figuring something out. I'll be back. All right, guys, I ended up getting that pan hard bar. Ended up using this little bearing puller, stuck it between this arm, and just right in there like that up against this whatever, and just carefully spread this this arm this way from the frame, or push the frame that way mainly is what I did. And I got the bolt stabbed, <clears throat> so now I guess I could just zip it all do da day. And then I'll just tighten it from this side. So, sack it. This thing. Find that thing is. Anyway, this goes 
those in there somehow. This is only 20 bucks a piece. Okay. Alright guys, battery died. Um, yeah. So I tighten the bolts. For the panor bar, everything looks good. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, because before I'd push this truck and the whole truck would just be so. Note to your guys itself. I still can't find a name on this thing. Probably for a good reason. Um. Not sure if companies even put names on them, but they should. So, a little note for you guys. Or if you guys know this brand or have seen this brand, um, just let me know. This little locking collar is, I'm assuming, it's supposed to be recessed into here because it has a little recess on it. This thing's all squeaky. And rusted so anyway it might work for somebody but I don't know maybe one day I'll modify it and put another heim joint or something on the other side um, but yeah definitely these bushings I'm assuming I don't know whose bushings these are but whosoever they are they suck I almost want to say this looks like some something pro comp would make some piece of junk. So I'm just trying to keep this bushing out. Or maybe this is Top Guns Customs. <laughs> Since I had a problem with with their control arms. Oh, and you can see. I mean, this whole bushing's all just blown out. So whoever the company is, I'm sure they'll contact me and be like, well, because you didn't add grease, and you didn't maintain it, and blah, blah, blah. In reality, they should just make a product that works. So, anyway, whatever. Oh, yeah. That bushing is blown. So, and then they always add these big, thick, uh... I don't know what you call these things. Spacers. Um, at least it doesn't have a split in it. You know, some companies have a split down them. They'll add thick ones. Uh, I was looking at the BD track bar. BD track bar's got big old huge. I mean, it's massive like that thick. Like another inch thicker than this. But they still have polyurethane bushings. So you can have... As thick as a stupid arm as you want. But if you got these stupid bushings, these bushings are going to blow out. Just make them with heim joints. I mean, a good heim joint. I'm sure that's eBay. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it. I got to go pick up a part. And then uh, next video, I guess, will be uh, pressing this U-joint out and sticking the new U-joint in. It looks like the same U-joint. Um, I have a fear that I'm going to be uh, replacing this U-joint later. Or who knows, maybe they just didn't grease anything. Um, I mean, it's got Zerk fittings. You would think that, I don't know, some people are weird. Some people think uh, uh, it comes greased, which they do come greased, but after you put stuff in that has Zerk fittings, just grease it. It doesn't hurt. Go buy a grease gun, grease it. Um, that could have been what happened to this track bar. They could have just thrown it on with the stupid assembly lube for those bushings. I don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't install it. 
But I tell you what, everything that has Zerk fittings on the front of this truck, uh, once I throw this in and put it all back together, everything's getting greased. Um, and probably even before that because the ball joints are kind of hard to get to. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Later.